It's been nearly 20 years since a pair of Judy Garland's ruby red slippers were stolen from a museum in her hometown. The shoes were recovered 13 years later, but no one was ever charged until now. Jim Murray reports. They're the most famous pair of shoes in the world, Dorothy's ruby red slippers. Follow the yellow brick road. Now the FBI has charged a man with stealing them, and if convicted, he may be on the yellow brick road to jail. Follow the yellow brick road. The pair of iconic shoes worn by Judy Garland in the classic 1939 movie was stolen from the Judy Garland Museum in her birthplace, Grand Rapids, Minnesota, back in 2005. They were recovered in a sting operation in Minneapolis in 2018. Look, there's Garland's name inside, but no one was charged until now. A one-page indictment says 76-year-old Terry John Martin stole an object of cultural heritage, an authentic pair of ruby slippers. Martin lives just 12 miles from the museum where the slippers were on display. He told a reporter, I got to go on trial. I don't want to talk to you. Janie Heights is executive director of the museum. Those ruby slippers behind her are just replicas. The real ones are still in the custody of the FBI. We are excited that there's movement in the case, but also kind of sad that it's a local person. The ruby slippers that were stolen are one of four surviving pairs used in the movie. FBI agents were able to tell they had the right pair thanks to a single sequin that had fallen off and was left at the scene when they were stolen. Now this iconic piece of movie memorabilia has been found. As Dorothy once said, There's no place. By the way, those ruby red slippers are valued at three and a half million dollars.